Hi everyone, welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to find the number of valence electrons in an atom by looking at your periodic table. Consider it a useful shortcut and tool to better understanding the periodic table as a whole. So here we have an atom and the things circulating around it are representing three-dimensional spaces that we refer to as energy levels or shells. Orbitals reside in the energy levels and electrons reside on these orbitals. If we freeze this atom, it would look something like this. The nucleus of an atom in the center, with X for now representing the element. Surrounding the nucleus, we represent the energy levels with these rings. Here we have three rings, so we would say that this atom has three energy levels. We also have electrons. These electrons hang out around these energy levels. We always feel these energy levels starting with the innermost, then working our way out towards the outermost. So we fill up the innermost and then we go on to the next shell. The first energy level can only hold two electrons. The next can hold up to eight electrons. The third can hold up to 18. The outermost energy level is referred to as the valence shell. And the electrons on this valence shell are referred to as valence electrons. Valence electrons are super important because the number of them determines the atom's ability to interact in chemical reactions. These valence electrons are going to be doing all of the interaction and communication with other atoms. It's very useful to have a quick reference to the number of valence electrons an atom might have. So if we look at the periodic table, we have two important parts here. First, we have the period number, which is going to tell you how many energy levels or shells an atom has. Then we have the groups, which is going to tell you how many valence electrons an atom is going to have. And unfortunately, this is excluding the transitional metals. The transitional metals are just not as predictable. So our periods are numbered 1 to 7, and the groups are numbered 1 to 18. Now, there is an adjustment we need to make in the groups. Instead of numbers 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, we are actually going to turn these into 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And this is because the maximum number of electrons in the valence shell can only be up to 8, not 18. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at an example like hydrogen. Here's the nucleus of the hydrogen atom. Because hydrogen is in period one, we know it will have only one energy level. And because it is in group one, we know it will only have one valence electron. Next, let's look at lithium. Lithium is in period two. So it will have two energy levels, or we can also call them shells. It is in group one, so we know it will only have one valence electron. How do we know how many electrons lithium has? We know this because the atomic number is 3. And since the number of electrons is equal to that, we are going to fill this atom with 3 electrons. 2 in the first shell and 1 in the valence shell or the last shell. So next let's look at calcium. Calcium is in period 4, so we know it will have 4 shells. Two electrons will fill up the first shell, eight will fill up the second shell, and now we have to use some critical thinking to fill out the third shell, because we know the third shell has a ca capacity to fit 18 electrons, but we must only fill it with eight. We know this because the periodic table tells us calcium must have two electrons in its valence shell. In order to accommodate this, we must place eight in the third shell, so we have two left over for the valence shell. Okay, so with that being said, these are the rules to how many electrons can fit in each shell. We've gone over a few, like two electrons in the first shell, eight in the second shell, 18 in the third shell, 32 in the fourth shell, 50 in the 5th shell, 72 in the 6th shell, and 98 in the 7th shell. So mostly, you just have to worry up to energy level 
five because most questions are asked regarding the elements that go up to energy level five. So one last example using Xenon. Xenon is in period five, row eight, and has 54 electrons. First shell, we fill up with two electrons. Second, we fill up with eight electrons. Third, we fill up with 18 electrons. Now the fourth, we technically have a capacity of 32. However, we need to have eight electrons in that last shell, the valence shell, right? So we must accommodate this by placing only 18 electrons here in the fourth shell so that we can finish off with eight in the valence shell, how it's supposed to be. So altogether, if we count these electrons, two plus eight plus 18 plus 18 plus eight, we get a total of 54 electrons. So I just want to emphasize, if you were to fill up the fourth energy level with 26 electrons and basically not accommodate it, then the valence shell, that being the fourth energy level, would be totally incorrect, right? Because according to the periodic table, xenon should have five shells and eight electrons on that last shell. So one last thing I want to add, the group eight elements all have eight valence electrons and that's totally normal, but there is one exception and that exception is helium. Helium actually only has two electrons, so it can only have two valence electrons, not eight. Alrighty guys, I hope you learned something new today. Thank you for sticking around and until next time.